really want to know about more business, you need to really get accounting major, CPA, because they learn about the whole thing. They don't mm. have audits, they taxes. You're learning about business. You're not learning about running a business. Different aspect. Yeah. But if you, you need to know about business. You need to know like cash flow for real estate. And for that entrepreneur mindset, that can really destroy, you, especially in real estate. Oh my gosh. Uh, what destroys businesses is cash flow. Like, right? like, like you can be making a hundred grand coming next month, but you have nothing to pay your bills. You're kind of then losing money because you're going in debt. So like. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you learn. So has that really added immense value to your business? Accounting? Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, it's oh, so yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. And so now you're then you 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 pop you're popping in the business, you're 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 taking massive action. But what did that massive action look like in the beginning of your you know, your first year full time in real estate and your, but versus your second year? Was there a big difference there or was it the it's working more huge I ran it like a business. So okay. I started taking coaching classes and they got into Was that right? immediately? Like after the manager helped you? Uh, like a year or so. After okay. I started getting into them, saying, I'm going to do this full time. Okay. I started taking coaching classes. and it's So coach- year two, coaching classes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Year two for me is like, it'll be half year than year one, right? Got it. That yeah. makes sense. All right. So, for, for so me, within six months. Yeah. Yeah, well, after like halfway through that that next year, I was like, I need to make this better. How do I improve? So wow. I was like, coaching classes. You're like, oh, and basically it's coaching classes for realtors. Yeah. You know, set a schedule. How do you do stuff? How do you follow Was up? it any specific organization? Was it inside of Long Foster? Was no, it a coach I, I went, I, went outside, I paid for outside. Todd Ferry, Mike Ferry, Joe Stubb, yeah, so Brian Feeney. So was I started with Mike Ferry. It's great. And I was him for like a Mike. year and a half, two years. Yeah. I'm with Tom Ferry now. Okay. So I went back to coaching classes. I, I have two other mentors in the country that I, I have at least monthly calls with. That's awesome. They're all for different aspects of business. It's like the one thing is very important to me at this point is constantly getting coached. Yeah. yeah. So my wife yeah, does it. What, uh, no, she does it as well. Make her that's amazing. Because well. it's amazing. What, we can bounce stuff off each other, but at the same time, it probably doesn't stick. We're too close. So you have someone else say the same thing. And so like accountability. 100%. Accountability goes to someone else. Like you just need to hear from me. Well, that's just another asshole talking to her. You know? yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest. Well, and uh, di- uh, differentiated from a accounting degree. A, a clinician, a psychologist would express cognitive dissonance, right. and that was a fight or flight response. Right. And the more you're around someone, the less value you are to them in certain disciplines. Right. So there you right. go. That is a hundred percent empirical fact data. There. Yeah. I agree. So you both are always leveling up in a sense, consciously, and bringing that to your business. And so, how? Where was the thought then to translate that to your team? Because that I'm curious about. Because that's actually found foundationally why Culture Matters was founded. People don't do that. Leaders don't usually do that. Well, I tried. I the just did a podcast team. out, you know, Vegas about this. Are, are you talking it's, about not do, giving that to the team? Yeah, a lot. Well, don't, well, I coached lot wrestling don't. for ten years, okay. right? So, so it's you basically when I would coach these kids and you see them. Do, I mean, like some of them new in wrestling, whatever. They like, wrestling against kids are like ten years in, in yeah. the sport. You see them do one thing, they get a little bit better, and like, wow. So if I can take my knowledge and give it to someone else, and it makes them better, and it makes my business better, and make our team look better, even though we're never amazingly great, we still become better. So now I constantly, or even sometimes riding my team, like, hey, we're, our coaching calls right now, we have a half hour, and I'm on the phone with them, we talk about stuff. I'm like, you, they have to imply How it. often do you do this? Weekly. That's awesome. So I, you do I, have, I have a weekly call, I have a weekly call with someone else, coaches, and, I have, and then you do that with your team. And I have two other monthly calls with two other people. That's amazing. So I'm, I'm, that's never going to stop. We're always going to have coaching with me, Meg, and I'm trying to give 